Pachar and Zaib 4,000 certificates, the CCOs, were issued. Terence Minister Judith Nabakoba has recounted the 2021 ministry's journey. Through the Uganda Land Fund, the ministry is enabling several lawful and bona fide Bibanja owners to acquire registered interests. She was addressing the journalists in Kampala when midway the media raised the ongoing friction at the Uganda Land Commission, the government's land custodian. ULC is under investigations by the IGG, police, and also we asked for a forensic audit from the office of the Auditor General. Without hesitation, Minister Navakova retorted. We have to acknowledge that ULC is messed up. That is a fact. I cannot hide it. It is messy. We need to streamline it. We need to clean it. It needs processes to be in place. Right now it is very difficult to find finding processes. And as a minister, according to Article 117, I'm held individually accountable to HE on the administration of my ministry. And ULC is under this ministry. I cannot see it messy and I keep quiet because I'm individually accountable to His Excellency, who is the appointing authority. This investigation was requested by them. They started it. So let us allow the due process of the law to take course Whatever the outcome, we shall oblige. I've been here for less than six months, so I'm doing my work. You know, Kulongosa, but she bachet agiso Kulongosa. Earlier, on Tuesday this week, Uganda Land Commission Chairperson Beatrice Nyake Siki Biencha told the journalists that the dupe and quench for the land fund had landed her into trouble. We just landed on a list from somewhere and we found that uh, over 677 people had been fully paid with their names and just landed on it. Me, when you talk about the land fund, the commission is bigger than the land fund. Have they, have they taken trouble to register government land wherever it is and keep it safe? Have you ever seen them saying that so and so is grabbing government land? We are under attack, you people. Where is the register? We need the register. Me, I have never accessed it for the last five months I've been here. So me, I'm looking at bigger things than the fund. Although Biancha then noted that she is still in charge of the commission, having secured the court injunction over her interdiction by the IGG, Minister Judith Nawakoba reiterated that the office is under the guide of a tentative administration and open to members of the public. Then there's a court order, interim court order. So the interim court order just deflates everything. Everybody who is appointed by the president, we are not above the law. It is only the president who is not touched by the law. But the rest of us, we are not above the law. That's one thing. We let us not use the president's cover to stop or deny investigations to take place, even if it's me. I cannot say, because I was appointed by the president, nobody is supposed to investigate me. No, let us not drag the president. On the other hand, Lands Minister Judith Nawakoba told journalists that the 2022 ministry priorities is the amendment of the Land Act, the implementation of the Fiscal Planning Pact, among others. The ministry will also roll off the automation of its services by 1st March this year. Robert Nyango, UBC News.